<laughs> H2B. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Humble to Bold. This episode is called The Way. Um, pretty much us not having our way, but doing God's way. I think most often, most of the time, we try to walk in a way that we probably were brought up in or that we know so often. And I want to talk about God's way and how the Bible describes God's way. And what is the reward of God's way? The Bible talks about him lengthening our days if we continue to walk in his way, his statutes and his commandments. But if you know not his commandments and his way and his statutes, like what road are you walking down in? And where do you think it will lead? I want to talk about in the Bible where Joseph and his brothers are talking and he's giving them this dream he's come up with and he's telling them about it and immediately they get jealous because they think of the way it's to come about is their way. But this dream has come from God and it's going to be fulfilled in God's way and God's plan and his predestined purpose. And sometimes we often do that in our lives. We receive this word from God or we receive this moment with God or prophecy from God or some kind of dream or vision. And we begin to think that it's going to go out in the way that we planned or we decide and we try to make it our way along that road and that path. But in Genesis 1, it says everything that God created was good. And he created man in his likeness, in his image. So we are created initially to follow his way, his plan, and his path. In the manner and likeness that he created it. However, sometimes uh, Satan, the adversary, you know, a snake in the Bible. Something comes along and changes that plan that either we had or that God has. And how do we get back on that track or that, that way? Because it's narrow. It's a place that people not often go or not often choose. It's hard to choose the way of God because the way of God is not what we would consider um, per se winning or doing the right thing or what everybody else is doing. It's not the status quo. It's not uh, the majority rule. It's not something people would like to do. But it's the plan of God and it's the will of God. I want to talk about the way because if we don't... And I've spoken about the way in the past on my channel. I want to talk about this because sometimes if we get off track of the way, we begin to go down the road that leads to destruction. That's why the reward of doing the way is actually lengthening your days because it creates growth it produces fruit it produces long life it produces everything that God has predestined for you it produces growth in whatever it is that you will to do but if you do the complete opposite it produces that destruction destroy death defeat all of the above in the Bible Jesus had a way about going in doing things and people knew that that was Jesus because he was doing the way of Jesus the way of God the will of God I always often read this scripture on the road to Emmaus where Jesus is actually walking with two people after the death and the resurrection rising of himself he's walking on the road with two men and they go to eat and immediately he breaks the bread and blesses it and I'm just going to say this word how I would like to say it. Immediately he breaks the bread and he blesses it. And then within their hearts they notice that they recognize that that's him. Was it because he broke it and blessed it? Most often people broke and blessed their food then. It was the way he did it. And if you don't do it that way, God is unable to recognize so how can he bless you, speak to you, send a vision to you, uh, touch you, change you, mold you, perfect you if he doesn't recognize you? And if you're not doing it in the way that he know he taught you, um, some of us were taught and brought up in that way. But, you know, being a young child and then we grow up, we have to know that way because we were taught in that way, in that manner, in that likeness. You always go back to what you know and the reason why I say that is because sometimes we get off track and if you get off track or get off that road 
what is it that you revert back to or how can you revert back to what you know or what you should be doing, the way of God or the will of God or the plan of God? You know, God has fulfilled a predestined time and moment for people and a path and he lights that way. He lights that path. He leads you and directs you down that path. It says he leads us to still waters. He leads us to peace. If stuff is off and in disarray, it's probably because you're not doing the way of God, the will of God, or you're not on the plan. And if you feel that way, then you should go back and write the vision of what you initially had. You know, most of the time in the Bible, it tells us to go back to what we first loved, what we first did. You know, even myself, a uh, personal experience here. You know, going back to like, okay, I pray. Okay, I sing. Okay, I read the word of God. But sometimes your life does not give you those moments to do those things and you have to revert back to what you did before the way of God whatever it was was it laying on your face crying out to God was it going to church was it a person an accountability partner was it a group was it something that led you back to the way then do that you know or just quiet moments with God and just asking him what is the way where is the way who is the way how do I get on the way you know, a lot of people are crying and asking that now because you definitely want to lengthen your days and receive the reward of following his commandments, statutes, and way. Thank you for coming to the short word. Much love. Be blessed. Thank you for joining Humble to Boat. You can find Humble to Boat Apparel on Uh Getting back to you and let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, is on www.dalyshavon.com. Much love. Be blessed. God's love.